guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha from Divine Creations, and today I wanted to briefly talk about an offset in Inkscape and uploading our images to Design Space. So we're going to start off by adding our text. I'm going to do Divine Creations, and of course you can choose any font that you like. But I want to keep this video very simple, so we'll go ahead and just keep the font that's selected. And the first thing I want to do is ungroup. So we're going to go to Object, Ungroup. Then we're going to go to Path and Union. Once we have those steps done, now it's time to add the offset. So I'm going to go to Path. And meanwhile, remember to keep your words or image selected. So we're going to go to Path, Link, Offset. And we have a little diamond here. As you see, when I hover over it, it turns red. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to drag it out to create the offset. You can take it out as far as you need or bring it back in if you need to. At this point, I'm happy with the offset. And now I needed to make it its own layer. So while I'm going to hit the arrow, I'm going to move the original wording out the way. I'm going to select the offset. And I'm going to path object to path. Then I'm going to go back to path, break apart. And here is what we need to get rid of because we don't want that to be cut out in our box or whatever project you're doing. So we're going to go to path, then union, and now it's gone. We can also change the color. I'll make it that color. Select our words, place it right back on top. We go to File, Save As. You can name it. Remember to save it as a plain SVG and hit Save. Now, let's head over to Cricut Design Space to upload our new image. Okay, guys, now we're at Cricut Design Space. I'm at a brand new canvas, and we're going to go ahead and upload our image from Inkscape. And here it is, Divine 3. I want to choose. And as you see, we have the, my name and the offset. We can save. And here it is in Design Space. We have name and offset uploaded at the same time. All right, I hope this video helped. Please leave any messages or comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe so you will be notified of all upcoming Cricut or Brother Scanning Cut projects. Thank you.